Well, welcome everybody to Detox Secrets webinar. My name is Lori Carney and I am a certified nutrition health coach and the owner of Mindful Health. I have my private practice in Rosemont, Minnesota where I counsel individuals one-on-one. -on -one. I do group coach coaching. I run seasonal detox programs and I also do wellness workshops. So I'm going out of my comfort zone and doing webinars um, I, because what I'm used to is that face-to-face. -face. So I hope technology is good for me tonight and for all of you. So just a quick, some quick housekeeping um, be, just before we begin. On the bottom of your screen, you're going to see things that say like mute and chat room and things like that. So if you want to go in and just say hi in the chat room so you can see where it is, that would be great. And what we're going to do is at the end of the workshop tonight, I'm going to be able to, I would love to have questions. And just let me know if you have any questions about anything, and I'd be glad to answer them. So just um, a few um, minutes about myself and why I am here teaching tonight. And I used to have um, the diet of most Americans, that standard American diet of pizza and hamburgers and french fries and milkshakes, um, wine, and I never really gave it a lot of thought. Um, I was gradually gaining weight as I was getting older as well, uh, reduced energy, some brain fog. But what happened was I was in a major accident in 2012, and I was not able to go back to my high paced job anymore. I had this brain injury that I did not heal from, and it just felt odd. I was in a level 10 headache every day. I had depression, anxiety. Um, I just never felt like myself with concentration and memory. And so it was really hard, and I went the medical route for years doing um, the traumatic brain injury clinic in downtown Minneapolis with not a lot of progress. And it wasn't until I took the healing into my own hands and learned about nutrition and lifestyle changes is what helped me. And so with changing my diet and realizing, wow, my headaches are less, what I was eating was pro inflammatory. It was making my symptoms worse. And no one ever told me about this. Um, the life I was leading was very stressful and that I needed to reduce that stress in my life so I could heal. So I just felt this huge aha moment that this is what I need to do in my life, that I would love to teach other people about how they can feel the best that they can in their own bodies. And so I went back to school at the Institute of Integrated Nutrition, and it was about a year long, like medical school studies. And I kept thinking, does this woman really who has a brain injury, can I go back to school? And it was great. The more we use our brain, the better it gets. And I loved every minute of it. It. Um, I also got my yoga, yoga teaching certification at that same time and now have this great business. So I'm happy to share with you the secrets that I think that people should think about when they are detoxing. So for the first, um, first of all, let's just start off about what is a detox. So, um, and, and I do encourage them by the way, but a detoxification just basically refers to the elimination of toxins and poisons from our body. Um, cleansing in the dictionary is defined as making something clean. And so with this workshop tonight, I might use those terms interchangeably and they mean the exact same thing. So the first thing here, and I think, oh good, my screen sharing is working. My first secret tip to have a successful detox is first just to ask yourself, do I need to have a detox? Um, but the reality is we all know we live in this toxin, toxin world. We wish we could have clean air and pure water and have foods that would just cleanse us that would be all organic, but that is just not the way our world is working right now. We a lot of times eat foods that have trans fat from the fried foods, artificial food dyes and different things in our food, and then the chemicals in our house, our phones and everything. So most of us are overexposed to toxins and our body just cannot keep up. So we can you know, have a little bit of a certain toxic load, but what happens is that when we're overloaded, that becomes a problem. So most people 
need to have a detox. Um, even when I detox now, I think I eat mainly real food, but I feel better every single time I do it. Um, and so it is a really great process to do to get some of these toxins that are out of our body. But our, our livers are responsible for basically organizing all the toxins. And they enter into our system and then distribute them to one of our four channels of detoxification. So, you know, like the skin is the last resort of the detoxification problem. So if you have any kind of skin issues, or if you know of anybody who has some skin issues, um, they probably absolutely need to detox. That is the last resort. Um, so if they have a skin problem, it definitely is an issue. Um, but again, due to just like the huge um, environmental contaminants out there, our bodies are in need of serious and regular cleaning to reduce damage to our immune systems and to our metabolism. So detoxification, it is vital. It, I mean, it absolutely is vital to maximize the body's energy and to prevent chronic illness. So, and it's also a great way just to keep us regular, um, keep the circulation under control, and it also helps keep the stress in our bodies to a minimum. So it's going to be a good balance of good health and it promotes healing from illness. Um, I absolutely recommend um, to do a detox about once a quarter. Number two, understand what happens in our body when we detox. So these toxins, when we can reactivate them after a detox, then they can move into the bloodstream to be dumped out of the body. So now our body is able to burn up that fat cell it's been storing through the with the toxins. Uh, it helps by letting our liver activate those toxins that are stuck in our belly fat and other cells throughout our body. So basically what happens is that the toxins, they need to go somewhere. And so if you wanna visualize, they may go into a nice little ball of mucus and they store in our fat cells. So the only way to get rid of some of this fat is by doing a detox. So just by exercising or just by doing one thing, we're not going to be able to detoxify our body and actually be able to remove the toxins and help it get dumped out of our body. So we really need to take the time to do that. And, and it actually, I mean, if we don't take the time to do this, what happens is that we're going to keep having that maybe three o'clock craving or crash time. We're going to keep having this low energy, the brain fog, and just maybe not just feeling right in our bodies. Um, and absolutely, it will keep the weight in our body as well. So I know I used to always have like two or three different sizes of clothes in my closet. And it's just a great way to reset your body so that you can just maintain a certain weight or maybe even lose weight. Um, and spring is a great time to detox because I love all of the food that is available in the spring um, with the nettle leaves and dandelion and all of the greens, um, asparagus and lettuce, spinach, parsley, all the foods that are gonna probably be on sale at the grocery store because they are in season are exactly what we need to do. Spring is the time for us to replenish and renew the body. So a great time to do a detox. And let's see, number, oh, here's an, just another diagram about understanding what happens in our body when we detox. If you're um, just calling in and not able to see this, let me know and I can always send you the PowerPoint presentation as well. But right here we are looking at just how to shed pounds without the rebound and how cleansing is just a safe and healthy and natural way to achieve a healthier and leaner body. And let's see, tip number three, yeah, reset our eating habits. I think this is actually one of the most exciting reasons why anyone should do a detox because I know when I go through stages, and even as a health coach, I do this, that I will have a couple days of not eating healthy, and then guess what happens? Whatever you eat, you're going to crave more of. So 
if I'm eating a lot of chips or popcorn or a lot of sweets, like I like to crave a lot of sugary things sometimes, that's what I'm going to keep craving. When you do a detox, you are resetting your eating habits. So then you're going to be able to reset or basically reboot to curb all those nasty cravings for unhealthy food. People really struggle with um, controlling their cravings. And the thing is, we absolutely have to have a plan of how to combat them, um, especially with the sugar cravings. Sugar is 10 times more addictive than cocaine. And it's not really about our willpower with sugar. It's about adding certain foods in to help crowd out those cravings. So adding in those vegetables and the water. And so really within five days of just putting in the certain kinds of food, at the end of five days, you will not have those cravings. You will be like, oh, I don't need my soda every day. And so it's just a great way to go, okay, this is my spring reset, and I'm gonna have my eating habits gonna be more healthier. And then you're gonna crave that kale. I actually crave spinach, I crave cucumbers, and I love that. And, the, and if you would have known me four years ago, you would have said that is impossible. <laughs> so it is absolutely something that um, can be happening. And really, I mean, life is about not counting calories. Um, it's just about eating real food and enjoying it. And, um, and oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting like a notification here. Let me just get out of this here. Okay. So um, just noticing what you already ate and then wanting more of that and just not counting the calories and just focusing on the real foods and then you're all good. And it's an easier way to go. So tip number four, just learning all the benefits from a detox. There are so many great benefits. Um, a lot of people do it because they are lacking energy or they have an issue with their digestion. Um, again, the skin, you really feel like this, you have a brighter skin complexion. A lot of people complain about brain fog, especially people around my age, uh, 40 and up. Um, and so it just helps you have that clarity of mind when you're actually eating foods that are going to give you the power to be the best person you can be. It's a really amazing feeling. Um, better sleep. Uh, watch out, it will increase your sex drive. Uh, kick those unhealthy cravings like we just talked about. Um, it's great for weight loss. Um, a lot of people will lose weight from a detox, and if you need to gain weight, um, always let somebody know, an organizer, so they can help include some additional foods to help you gain weight. Uh, it's a wonderful way to discover food sensitivities. As I said, I didn't realize all the food that I was eating was actually impairing my time to heal. So at first it was just getting the junk food out. And then I realized I was creating my own little detox by taking away wheat and I was taking away dairy and all these inflammatory foods that for my own unique body was making it that my head aches were worse and that the pain in my body and the inflammation was was creating, created a lot of by, by what I was eating. So when you do a detox, it's a great way to learn about what your own unique body likes and what it doesn't like. Um, and then also when you are on a detox, you can learn about how to become less dependent on certain foods. Um, I know for me, it's like I always love like my, my granola, which is sweetened with honey and not, not refined sugar, but still it's a great way just to look and see what you might be really dependent on in your life. So number five kind of goes right in with number four. It's really noticing your food attachments. It is this incredible opportunity to look at your eating habits from a whole new perspective. Um, I know whenever I detox, or I should say the last time I detoxed, what I really noticed is how much I snack off of my daughter's plates and their snacks. And as soon as I, I never really counted that as food, but it all adds up. So it is this wonderful time just to look at your eating habits and what you're doing well, and maybe something that you uh, might not be doing so well. And most of us do you have certain attachments? It might be sugar, it might be chips, it might be cookies, uh, or maybe it's that glass of wine at the end of the night. 
And number six is choose an easy detox. Um, you know, I don't have a private chef making me my fresh juice or my meals. I don't think any of you probably on the line do. And if you do, great job. That's awesome. Um, but we really need to think about our lifestyles. Are you working? Do you have kids? What is your life like? Can you fit a detox in and still be able to work and have your family commitments? Um, so you really need to choose something that's easy. Um, and one that whoever created it did a lot of the work for you um, so that for recipes, you want to have a lot of recipes to choose from. Because if you're making meals for your entire family, um, it's much easier if you can look at, you know, 50 recipes and then circle the ones that you think that you would like or that your family would like. Um, and it's great to have it easy, like with checklists, um, just some choose a detox that they have so many options that even if you don't use all the options, you know that they're there. So if you ever feel frustrated or stuck that you have an easy way to be successful, we want to make sure that when you do a detox that you are a success because I know for myself and for a lot of my clients, they choose these really hard detoxes and I know one of my friends, she, and she's a health coach, she halfway through this lemon juice cleanse, um, her husband found her at the eating this whole big bag of tortilla chips and she was at the bottom of it. She just, it was so tough that she broke down and was not able to go through with it. And I'm the same way. I have had um, times where I have tried harder detoxes thinking, okay, I'm a health coach, I should be able to do this but that doesn't work for my personality. And it's better just to do something that's easy and that you know you're gonna be success. And there are a lot of great detoxes that are just like three, five, seven days. So you're not fasting, you're not juicing for 21 days and you can still get some really great results. And really think about, no matter even what I say, you have to do what's right for you. All right, tip, tip number seven. I think this is the easiest one to do. Uh, recruit a buddy because I think everyone knows when you have a support system in place, it absolutely um, increases your chances for success. And um, there has been lots of research studies shown about this as well. When you are accountable, you are going to be more successful. My uh, degree in college was psychology, so I love studying the human behavior and what motivates us to change a behavior, what motivates us to pick up a donut versus some celery, um, and understanding how our own body is. But when we have a cheering section, it absolutely is going to help you win at that detox. So when you are going for that uh, plate of cookies, you can either call up a friend, or maybe if it's an online group, you can say, I really am craving the donuts right now, and there's gonna be someone that's gonna be able to, to talk you away from those cookies, talk you away from the donuts. And when you do something as a group also, um, and you hear other people maybe having struggles um, and then getting through them and maybe you supporting them as well, it is just a, a really, a, well, a great feeling just to feel that you can be part of a group and helping each other out. So, you know, just thinking about your friends, your family, people at work, uh, neighbors, maybe the soccer moms that you talk to at the field. Um, it's a great way also to bond. And there's so many different um, detoxes that are online now. So it's a really nice way to bond with relatives and friends from across the states or even across, you know, the oceans. Um, in my last uh, detox, I had uh, my sister who was in Japan do it with me and I thought that's such a great idea to do that and like a cousin in Fargo and so people who maybe aren't really right around you that you can bond with them over helping each other heal because really what we want we want everyone to be happy around us all the people we love we want them to live the life that they are meant to be to live and we want to help them and cheer them on and there's also some a lot of detoxes that have a group leader. So that group leader would be like the main cheerleader, the coach to help people along. So if they're struggling with anything that they can go right to them. 
And let's see, tip number eight. Oh my goodness, um, don't punish yourself. So detoxing, I think, you know, when I hear the word, I'm like, it's a negative connotation. And I have to be honest, I really do not like to detox. Every time <laughs> I have tried to do a detox, it doesn't work for me um, because they've been too hard. I've, been, I've tried the Joe Cross juice cleanses and some other different kinds of cleanses. And really, what I have learned is that it is not necessary to do a hardcore detox that forces us to suffer to get the benefits from detoxing. Um, the best recommendation I would have for everyone is to choose a gentle and whole foods-based detox. They are effective and they're more likely to help you make a lasting change in your life. So thinking about um, that example of my friend where she was doing this cleanse and halfway she caved and this happens so often and then what people do to themselves is they are worse than when they started because not only do they not succeed in that detox they're feeling like they're not a success and they just continue to say i can't do this i can't do this well no it's really not that it's just that we don't need to put <laughs> so much hard hardship to us um, when we detox I and mean, we can make it nice and easy making it through food and really also when we make it with food a detox we're teaching ourselves how to live naturally how to detox our bodies every single day so to learn recipes that maybe you can incorporate into your family's standard recipes and things that you can put into your body but when you're doing a lemon juice cleanse or the maple syrup cleanse. Those are not habits that you would want to continue on to do. Um, and also I have to say, uh, when you do like a juice cleanse, when you don't have a lot of the calories and the fat and the protein in it, what happens is that our body thinks that we're starving. And so when we starve, the body doesn't want us to die. So it's going to hang on to that fat. So it's not even an effective way of doing it. And then when you start back and you put food back into your body, it also likes to think, okay, wait a minute. What's going on here? Is she starving? Um, is she going to starve again? I better hang on to this fat. And your metabolism slows down. So it's absolutely, I would say, the opposite way of what you should be doing. And let's see, tip number nine. So yeah, just adjust the detox that works for you. Um, I absolutely believe in bioindividuality, that there is not one way of eating for every single person. Yes, we should all have more fruits and vegetables, we should all drink more water, exercise, go outside, but in the end, we're all individuals, and we need to figure out what is right for ourselves. Um, not even listening to what like I say or a friend says, but really thinking about how you can adjust things for you. So um, if you have a detox that you wanna do, but maybe there's one part of it that really concerns you, talk to the organizer so you can find substitutions, because it's better to do it a little bit and be, be a success than to have it again too hard and then you're going to cave halfway through so maybe if the detox says um, recommends cutting out coffee and that maybe is like whoa that's really extreme for me maybe you talk to the group leader about a plan that you can be successful with maybe it's doing everything else but adding coffee in but having it up until only 9 a.m in only one cup something like that. So just really adjust what works for you. Again, respect your individuality and what your own unique self is all about. And tip number 10. Okay. So this is one that I, even my health coach um, friends do this. They don't do the right detox in the right season. And this is really important. Um, I'm in Minnesota. So if you're in a winter place, this is extremely impo important. Um, I would not recommend at all doing like an all juice cleanse in the winter because 
our bodies, they're aware that it's winter. And so when we deprive our bodies of these calories and fat and protein, when it's winter, our bodies may misread what's happening and assume that we're starving. So our body does everything it can hang on to um, from dying. So the body, the metabolism slows down just to keep us alive. So again, you know, we just want to have real food and especially um, in the cold months. Now in the spring, you can eat, you know, I would recommend having, again, doing a detox that is all real food. A lot of that, those spring, the spring produce that is going to be out soon. Um, and then having maybe juices every now and then, but not really to have something like that on a, on a everyday basis. But spring is a great season to do um, a detox. And so I just wanted to talk to you, like if you're curious about a detox and want to learn more about maybe one that is right for you, um, I just organically kind of figured out just through trial and error how I detox to help heal myself. And I've worked with other um, experts with functional me medical professionals and chefs and a health coach who is an expert at detoxing to bring this plan together. So I run seasonal detox programs that are just five days. And I really have it set up that every single person can be successful at this. And my wish for everyone is I just want you to be able to feel better in your body, um, that you're gonna have more energy, curb those cravings, and then you also lose some weight. Um, now for the winter one, most people, the average loss was like two to 12 pounds in that five days. For spring, it might be a little bit more dramatic because it's lighter foods for spring. But one thing I, I do is I give a, more information than you need. So with the recipes, um, I'm going to be giving a bonus guide of smoothies and juices, which I wouldn't do in winter because that wouldn't be the right time. But for with the smoothies and the juices and all the recipes, there's I have 50 different recipes. So it's wonderful things like lemony chicken skewers, garlic, um, broccoli. Tonight for dinner, I made ginger broiled salmon and I roasted some vegetables, and then for a snack, I made some kale chips. So it's all real food, and you will not go hungry. Um, I know, I think some people on this call right now have done that detox before, and they can probably let you all know, it's, it's wonderful that it's real food, it makes you feel good, but it fills you up as well. And I love to give a ton of support. So I have a Facebook page that people can be on for support. Um, I also do live training calls. So this is two different calls. The first call is a training call to help you prepare. So what do you need to do for um, prepping? What are the main things that you can do to be successful? And examples like how many how many ounces of water should you be drinking each day give an example so you can fill, figure out formulas um, how to figure out your food plan I have a food plan all ready for you um, but for but maybe with your lifestyle you want to adjust maybe you're gonna make a double batch and then you can eat it for two days maybe um, you're gonna be having it with your family or whatever it is so I'll give you all the different tips one of the bonus guides also is an eating out guide so if you're going out to eat, how to choose the best meals. And then also I have a quick meals guide. So if you don't want to make one of the recipes, it's really easy to just make a quick stir fry or an egg scramble, something like that. And lots of different salad options. Oh my goodness, like lots of combinations. But what I love is that um, at the end of those five days, people are just flying high and can't believe that when the cookies are being delivered at work or they're in the break room that they don't even want to have them anymore. And I think that's just shows you just five days, which day two and three are, can be a little tough. I'm not, I want to be honest with everyone that depending on where you are before in your diet, um, sometimes it might be a little bit harder. And every single time we detox, it is completely different. Um, it can be a very emotional release for some people. Um, the weight we lose is different. And every time we do this, 
we have this new perspective again of looking at our eating habits and at the end I do a transition out call beyond the detox and this is how to take these five days from them and do um, oh I have somebody that just joined uh -huh. on mute let me just see who that is so I can mute okay all right, sorry about that, guys. All right, so um, now I lost my train of thought of what I was talking about. But, uh, oh, the end of the detox, I do a beyond the detox call. And so I transition people out of how you can get the most out of these five days. Um, it's really a much bigger thing than five days because this is an elimination diet, the start of one. So during this detox, there is no dairy. There is no sugar, uh, there is no gluten, uh, we don't have any alcohol or caffeine in our diets or corn, but the recipes are so delicious, you seriously will not miss it. Um, but what's nice is that I will guide you that if you want to bring back one item at a time, one over each item over one week, then you can see how does my body react to corn? How does my body react to gluten? And really listening to your body and giving you the tips of what symptoms are typical of what to look for. Like for example, dairy is a lot of nasal and sinus issues. Um, gluten can be pain, inflammation in the body. It could be gas. There's many different symptoms for all these. But so taking this experiment and learning what you want from that and taking out, okay, what's one bad habit? that I'm never gonna bring back again. So each time you detox, you're getting a little bit closer to saying, okay, what's another great habit that I'm doing that I really wanna keep going on? And what's a bad habit that I wanna let go of? And when you do four of these in a year, at the end of the year, it's crazy how much your life has changed. So it's a wonderful way um, to do that. So my detox is going to be April 10th through the 14th, so starting the um, calls beforehand. I'm also going to have an optional grocery store tour that's in Apple Valley, Minnesota. I'll do a recording for those of you that are not local, um, but that will be on that Friday before the detox if anybody would like to do that. Um, and then again, just lots of lots of bonus things. So if you want to do yoga, I have my online yoga resources. If you want to meditate, I have a whole guide on just deepening the detox. So if you've done many detoxes already, um, then I would suggest looking at that. And one, my favorite thing to deepen, and I think everyone should do, is taking the Epsom salt baths with um, essential oils. It's a great way when we're detoxing to not just think about what we're eating, but our life and trying to slow down. And, but also the heat from the bath is a great way to maybe sweat out some of the to toxins to add in exercise um, and just really try to focus on yourself. Especially uh, women, we like to focus on a lot of other people first. And so it's a hard, it's hard for us to always bring that focus to us. And it's an important time to look at our lives and see where we are and take care of ourselves. And when we practice self-care, what um, absolutely happens is that you're actually more equipped to help others more. You're gonna be more balanced, you're gonna be more happy and healthy and have more energy, so you're gonna be there better. Um, also, when you practice self-care and eating well, it's a great investment in yourself because Without the brain fog or anything, you get you know promotions at work, and you just get more done in the day because you're living the life that you've always imagined, um, and then you don't have to always maybe paying maybe maybe getting rid of some prescriptions or doctor visits, and really thinking about your life 20 years from now, 30 years from now. It's not always about living longer anymore. It's about living that full quality of life. So it's how to put that quality into those years that we want to add on to our life. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, and also I do have some sample um, recipes from spring. So if anybody would like to have any of those, I would love for you to email me and I will send you some of those. My email address is uh, Lori, I'm sorry, it's Mindful Health with Lori at yahoo.com 
And again, it's Mindful Health with Lori at yahoo.com. And if you would like to get more information on the spring detox, you can go to my website at mindfulhealthwithlori.com slash five day detox. And let's see. Oh, I was going to see if I could put up my website, but I don't know if I can do that right here. <laughs> um, let me just see if I can do this here. Okay. It's beyond what I can do. <laughs> so what I can do is I help people with their diets and I help people be, get the life that they are looking for in their life. Um, so if anybody has any questions, um, let me just see. Looking, So will you be giving us any detox type foods? Oh, yeah. So the recipes are going to have um, ingredients in them that are detoxifying. So you're going to see a lot of spinach and asparagus and mushrooms and uh, cucumbers, some quinoa, different things like that. Um, some of them are vegetarian. Some of them have chicken. If you do not eat meat, um, I have substitutions like chickpeas or different things like that. Um, so there are many different options. And, and like I said before, what's great about these recipes is that um, – um, even the ones from the winter, I'm still making those meals all the time. And uh, it's, it's nice that you can experiment with your family and see what they like. And it warms my heart. I love when my kids love healthy meals because I think as a mom, we just want to equip them with um, the tools to make their life easier. And I know that when I'm giving them meals that are full of nutrients, that it's easier for them to study. And with uh, 12 and 13 year olds, um, I think, you know, the reason why they're a little bit more calm in emotions is because they are both having the nutrients to help their emotional system. I know people who eat a lot of inflammatory foods um, that suffer from any kind of emotional issues or hormonal issues are really up and down a lot. So this can help bring it all together so that you're just feeling that calmness within your body as well um, because that food is helping to, um, to give you some nutrients. And I did have somebody email me. Oh, she said... Um, why do you encourage people to do more than one detox a year? Um, yeah, so just again, it's just to help to reset your eating habits um, and just to keep learning where you're at. So even though I think I eat pretty healthy, every time I detox, I learn something else about myself and I learn something about maybe what I could do better or, and also looking at um, how well I do some things as well. So, and if you have any questions, feel free on the bottom is the chat box and you can ask um, any questions about the detox um, for spring or anything like that. And let's see, someone just asked, said, um, yes, every time I do dairy, I notice my sinus is draining. Yeah, it's actually, it's amazing. About 80% of people actually have a sensitivity to dairy and, um, we have gotten to a point that we actually don't know how awesome we can feel. We kind of just get used to this, this feeling and we think that this is the norm, but it is possible. Um, I, I think I wish everyone can just feel it. And that's what, when you do this for five days, you get that taste. It's like the taste test, you know, and you go, wow, oh my goodness, I feel so wonderful. My sinuses have cleared up. Um, there's people who have said they stopped snoring. Um, they just sleep better and just everything about them just um, felt better inside their bodies. And really, I mean, you know, I believe that, you know, this, our body is our home for our souls. And I think about how, for 40 years, I really kind of, I didn't honor it. I didn't respect my body by feeding it foods that were not helping me feel better. Um, and really kind of having it like a trash can. And, and, you know, but when you have, when you eat junk or crap, <laughs> you feel like that, right? I mean, we are, we truly are what we eat. And, and just like the old saying says, like, let medicine, let food be thy medicine. And that is so true that when we eat the right foods and when we can get this in our system to just detox naturally every day, it's just this wonderful feeling. So I'm just looking to see if there's any other 
questions. It doesn't look like it. Well, the early bird special is going on right now. So again, I'm just going to put the um, website here in the chat room, mindfulhealthwithlori.com backslash five day detox. And if you have any personal questions, feel free to email me or you can give me a call. All my information is on the website. Um, but I would love to talk to you to see if this is something that is right for you. And if those dates don't work out for you, just let you know, you don't have to do them those dates. You can choose any date that five days that you want. That's just the date that we're going to do it as a group. But if there's another set of dates, email me, let me know, and then I will make sure to email you some support every day during your alternative dates. So the only thing you'd be missing is just that Facebook support but there would still be support for you. And I have to say, I loved the winter support group. Everyone got to know each other and was helpful and posting pictures and of their meals and so got everybody else excited for what they were gonna make the next day and the next day. So, and again, it's just five days and so we can really do anything for five days and I will help you all the way to make it a success. So. Um, otherwise, I think that's going to like wrap it up here. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. And I hope that um, we can work together. My goal is always to help people get those aha moments so they can emotionally connect to why they want to change in their life. Um, when we emotionally connect, it's an easier way to sustain change and to go on with a healthier life. And so Mindful Health, my slogan is all about nourishment for our mind, body, and soul. And thank you again. I hope you feel grateful for yourself to listening to this webinar. And any questions, again, contact me. Otherwise, thank you all.